What's up everybody? My name is Rob Simmons. Welcome to my channel. I am back with Team Starkid, the Bear Pirates in your ear. Act 1, Part 11. We left off with Malfoy winning the, winning the election. And honestly, I have no idea what to expect from this part because compared to the last few shows, this show is at both. Has had a lot of twists and turns, which makes it exciting. So, let's get to it. Harry runs out of the Great Hall into the hallways of Hogwarts. Harry! Harry, wait! What do you want? To talk uh, about the diary you gave me. Tom's diary. Harry, we need your help. Oh, yeah, like, like you helped me in the Great Hall? You didn't even try to stick up for me. You just sat there with Seamus and Dean. Tell them about your diary. I'm done helping people. Never again. Harry, you may not be popular anymore, but people still need your help. You're Harry Potter! No, I'm not! Okay? At least not anymore. Everything that made me who I am is, is gone. I was Harry Potter. You still are. There was a time when life had meaning Not so long ago I knew the light it was easy being the star of the show. There was a time when things were fine. I could make wine from butter. There was a time when I was happy when I was here. I think I understand you now. You can't put your face there in anyone in the background, anymore. Tom. The world is a terrible, lonely place. I'm ready to see what happened to you after you killed your father. There was a time when I was hopeful, when I was good inside. Everyone said that I was evil. Maybe they were right. Beautiful I one, changed though. my name. I went insane. I've never felt so little. I was a fool to think they could love me when I was almost riddle. Are we getting a harmony? I've fallen from up high. I love our mates. That said goodbye. I'm not an angel, not the answer. I'm just going nowhere faster. There was a time I was a shrew, but that you rose called. Looking back, I can hardly see him. Cast me aside, throw me away, go on, forget yesterday, and I'll try forgetting too. I never thought I would hear Harry and Voldemort saying harmony. I mean, but Darren and George's voices, was, they go really well together. Just like it was before. I wish it was just like it was before. Harry, where are you going? Away from here. No, don't say that, Harry. Let's just, let's go back to the Great Hall and we'll try to explain things. I'm not gonna go back to the Great Hall. Don't you understand, Hermione? I'm never gonna go back. What? I'm leaving Hogwarts forever. You saw what happened back there. Nobody wants me here. And you know what? I don't blame them. Who would care about a loser like me? Losers like us? That's who. Harry. <laughs> Hogwarts is your home, Harry. It used to be. Bye. There 
was a, a time before I was adored by every son and daughter. There was a time when I was happy, when I was happy. Oh my gosh. The audience has the right idea. That and was so I left really well done. Never to return. For years I've wandered, mastering the dark arts, becoming something all would come to fear. And now, tonight, I call on the wizards and witches who entered my service long ago. Now we will know who will be brave enough to return and who will be foolish enough to stay away. Tonight, I begin my war on this world. Tom Riddle is no more. I am Lord Voldemort! Wow. Transformation. Oh my gosh. Jimmy. I'm back. I'm not dead, nor am I alive. Yet. Don't try to stop me, Jimmy. You haven't got any choice in the matter anymore. I've become far too strong to resist. Now, my slave to the Chamber of Secrets. Come, oh my gosh. My basilisk. Snake! Ah. Yeah. Anybody else have chills? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, far too long you fed on me at first. But you will have final bread. Lord Voldemort shall provide. <laughs> the iron goes nuts. Man. Wow. Man. I did say in my intro that this show in particular has a lot of twists and turns. I think we've had the biggest twist yet with Voldemort coming back. And I gotta say, at the very end, Jill absolutely nailed the evil laugh. And plus, I'm glad we had another music part for the better, for more than half of this one part because. Both Darren and Joe absolutely nailed it, especially Darren, since he only had a couple hours to prepare for this show. And the fact that he nailed the Sean with the Sean, the, with the, the show, the song, I keep, I keep getting tongue tied, with only a couple hours just shows how talented he really is. And seeing the Basilisk, oh, that put me in shock. And fun fact the Basilisk is a, a, actually a female, in case you, know, you didn't know that. But anyway, let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you for watching.